Assalamu alaikum. Hope you all are doing well. It's Saturday. It's my day off. So um, I got up very late, like around 12 p.m. And then um, I've been slaking around like since morning today. It's been a lazy day. I am kind of feeling like bored. So um, I just had my lunch at 3 p.m. I skipped my breakfast and then which is like very unhealthy which I don't do usually on weekdays but on weekend it happens because I just want to take it easy and sleeping in the morning and yep um, so I just had my lunch I didn't actually want it to I didn't actually want to um, have my lunch because I was feeling like you know I, I, I don't I don't have like any appetite but anyway so I came here, I was looking for a park around, uh, which I couldn't find uh, to the place where I live. So I came here, you see, uh, because today I wanted to go to like a place which is more natural. Because one thing that I will tell you is that is um, in China, it is, everything is like so artificial. Like for me, maybe it's just the way I think about people. So just make sure that you don't stereotype uh, from what I say but I feel like every everything is like so fake because the, the buildings um, even the lakes the parks the you know everything is just like so artificial like manipulated by humans like not natural as we have back home um, so I was kind of looking for a more natural place so you can see here I'm here it's kind of like a forest let me show you Yeah, so it's nice. It's getting hotter here day by day, but at the same time, it's nice. You see. Um, yeah, it's very dry and kind of like hot today. But I like the place because nobody's around, and it 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 feels more refreshing to me. Yeah. So I'm just on my bike, you can see this is my bike, so I'm just on a ride, so you know, I don't have like any destination in my mind that I want to go today, but I'll just roam around and you know, ride and you know, just take it easy and enjoy it, you know, whatever comes in the way. Yeah, so stay tuned and I'm gonna show you more places where, you know, if I go in case. just wandering around and then I got to this place and I found it like really beautiful so I'm gonna show you um, the air is like very fresh and kind of coolish so look at this it's like a water canal these kind of water canals are very rare and especially the one with fresh um, green blue water um, 
in China, like you can you cannot find that Asia color water like the sky blue color water, just like we have back home in Pakistan. It's very rare. I mean, there are at some places, but like not a lot because most of the water here is like brown, dirty. So even if you look at this canal, the water is like not clean, like not recommended for swimming or things like that, you know. But this place is nice. I mean, I like it. It's refreshing. It's something different. It's it's more like psychedelic and uh, natural than artificial. But yeah, and then there is my bike. Yeah, so um, it's nice if you are also living abroad, um, then you would feel that, that there are, you know, every country has a different test of life. So you cannot decide that whether which country is better, whether it's your home country is better or your, you know, uh, the country that you are living currently is better. You cannot, you can never decide that because every country is different and there are good and bad things, good and bad people, um, different, you know, different perspective that you can enjoy your life in. So, but yeah, you, you, you definitely miss the things that you, you, that you're grown up with, you know, like you still miss your roots, but it doesn't mean that living abroad is difficult or, um, um, you know, like disappointing or things like that. Uh, but yeah, enjoy your life. You can see that grandpa is riding his electric tricycle. But I think it's refreshing. So it feels very nice here. It's like a beach, but it's not a beach. See? Wow. Isn't it a nice place? Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So you see, um, it's 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 very it's very nice. It's like windy. It's, it feels like sea breeze, and you can see my hair is blowing up. <laughs> so um, yeah, I love this place. This place is amazing. So yeah, I'm in Beijing. Um, so you may wonder that Beijing is like the capital city of China. So what is this all about? It's, it seems like a village or a countryside. So yeah, I'll tell you that no matter how how um, developed a city here, how developed a city is in China, there are still places like this, you know, where people can go and spend some time and get close to the nature because, you know, it's always good to get close to the, to the nature uh, for your mental health, you know, and, and people work really hard in China, so they need a time you know, in a place where they can go and relax. So the government is actually providing this opportunity um, for their people and it's, and I really appreciate that. I wish that, you know, if, if our government, our government cares about the people the same way as the Chinese government care about their people. Um, so yeah.
So yeah, I got here and this is a kind of, this is a place for people to come here, sit here. It's like a huge place and there is a bench, you know, if you want to come here and spend some time by yourself or, to, or with your friends and that's my bike. Um, and uh, yeah, so this time you see there is nobody around because it's like, uh, you know, this time is like the, you know, this time of the day is like very hot and that's why, you know, you won't see a lot of people. But in the evening, there is quite a, a lot of people actually in the evening because, you know, when the sun goes down, then people come out and... Uh, spend time with their friends and yeah so that was down there and then you can see here so this place is just you know um just like a couple of steps you can come up and then you can sit here and enjoy so that's the water kennel and that's the place where i was and then i came upstairs and you see there's another nice place i wish I wish if it was like uh, if it was the evening time um, and I can show you the people um, who come here and have a lot of fun here like people like street singers they come here people come with their families and friends so yeah but I really love this place and you see it's amazing and it's like very green and do you know <laughs> what is it I think this is you can see this one this one I think this is plum but it's not um, fully ripened yet and another thing um, is that the Chinese government actually promotes like ornamental, like every type of greenery. Like you can see, like most of them are like fruit plants or trees, you know, like uh, I showed you plum and then, so these are some other plum trees and they have peach and you see this is plum or maybe peach, I'm not sure. <laughs> Though I studied agriculture, but I forgot all of the knowledge that I that I had gained um, years back. But yeah, it's nice. So I think I'm gonna sit here for a while because I feel like uh, you know, feel not tired, but it's kind of hot here. Yeah, and you see, nobody's around, so I'm so happy because usually I don't like many people around me, and especially the people who I don't know or you know who are like strangers but yeah uh, when I was coming here I was kind of like thinking that where to go and I, I'm and I was feeling that I will regret after I get back home but it's it's totally ironic that I'm actually liking this place and I know that when I get back home I'll be like pretty satisfied that yeah I explored like a really nice place and I had a good time actually I'm having a good time here so I thought that I will, you know, flow. Like you see, I'll follow the same track and it will get me to the other end or at least to that bridge. But it isn't the case because now you see it's close here. So this track is just for this place. So now I have to go back, you see, and then cross that bridge and then um, get on that road and then get to that bridge yeah so I'm gonna show you another face of China so uh, you can also see the the glories you know the tall buildings the nightlife and all that you know um, fancy things that part that face of China but at the same time this is also China this is this also exists in China this and it's beautiful it, it, it's beautiful it, it is a sign that China actually didn't forget its root you know didn't forget its true um, its true shape you see 
isn't it beautiful so i'm just today i'm just taking like roads leads nowhere <laughs> so this may <laughs> this may looks like you know like an underdeveloped country but i'll tell you that in china like china is still a developing country so if you look at beijing shanghai and shenzhen then you find you know you find like next level of development and technology but at the same time there are still like areas like totally underdeveloped and they still need to work on.